A humility revolution took place in the middle of the first century with the teacher from Nazareth. Because sometimes it is in the lowest, dirtiest place, puckering up to the most horrible thing you can imagine, that you learn something you couldn't learn any other way. The most believable person in the world is the person you know has your best interests in their heart. Great leaders are approachable, have time for you, are other person-centered, are humble. We don't just admire them, we aspire to be like them. They for a moment seem just like us and we for a moment believe we can be just like them. Sometimes you don't need the power to hire and fire. You don't need the mandate to legislate. You don't need armies to change. Following a talk on humility, which I loved, I don't want you to think that it's like, I am the most vulnerable, humble guy in the world. Even if I am. Even if I am. <laughs> Clients and leaders and people in our churches are desperate for someone who will tell them the kind truth. And when people know that you're more interested in helping them do better than, than, than protecting your relationship, they invite you in. Our job as service providers, as leaders, is to be the one to say, I don't understand that. Because other people in the room are going to go, oh, I'm so glad they said that because I didn't understand it either and I didn't want to say so. When we, when we acknowledge our humanity, it is attractive. People listen to us and they want to be around us. We are human.